hello friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so today we are going to look about the lightning web component basics module and in that we are going to see about the handling of events in the lightning web components so in this uh, we are going to create an app that includes multiple components and we are going to see how the uh, file how we can describe the file structure and also we can how we can handle the events so basically we have a uh, we have a tile which displays an individual item the bikes here the list which arranges the tiles here is the list and the detail basically the detail which uh, displays the item details when a tile is clicked uh, and the selector which contains this is the selector which contains the whole set of components so uh, here we are using a data file to load the static data uh, for testing and then we will see uh, in the next unit how we can pull the dynamic data from the org so coming to the component relationships if you see here this is a selector and uh, the tile is inside the list and uh, um, uh, the data is passed from data module to tile and uh, eventually uh, to detail now the one thing which we should uh, understand here is basically the events up and the properties down so basically uh, the child component dispatches an event to the parent component and basically child uh, passes an event object to the parent when a user clicks a button for example so that the parent can handle the change event and then uh, change the property of the page basically change the property of the current page for example the parent can set a text value in a child component or invoke or for example the parent can set a text value in a child component or invoke a method in the child component so this is the way the information is passed up uh, from child to parent and from parent to child how the value is how the event is sent from child to parent and then the properties are set from uh, parent to child now basically we have passed the information down and uh, we can see um, that we are also having some code for handling the events using html file so uh, this is the quite a interesting diagram basically it provides uh, illustration about the uh, chaining of event listeners how we can change the event listeners and uh, handlers up the hierarchy to the salesforce component and then basically from the parent comp from the parent selector component pass a property down to the detail component basically the product id property and um, so coming to the coming to the quiz we see if we are able to score 100 points so basically which of the following nests one component inside another so as we have seen here in the code like this c dash detail c dash detail uh, we will see here in the in the code that we are using a c dash detail Uh, yeah, so if you see here like C dash tile, so basically that is uh, used, basically that is used to nest one component inside of another. So let me select this first option. Uh, and then we'll see like which of the following describes an event handling pattern in a complex component app. So the properties are dispatched. Uh, no, it looks right. Events are dispatched, the modules are passed. No, if the events are dispatched up from child to parent and then properties are passed from the parent to child, looks correct. So, let us see if we are able to score those 100 points. Yes, we are able to score it. And thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.